Welcome into the Ipte and ClemsonTigers.com. Look at the track and field program and here with Director Lawrence Johnson and Coach track and field program in very good shape right now is behind me a celebration is going on to commemorate the women's track and field program for their indoor ACC championship second straight championship for you in the indoor coach and that's got to feel pretty good yeah it feels awesome I think that uh, anytime you can repeat as champions it shows the kind of uh, depth and the kind of program that you're building and we've it's taken us some time to get to this point but we're enjoying the uh, the fruit of all the hard work and the recruiting and the kids hard work on the track every day so it's been a, a, a really big blessing for us to be able to repeat as champions so we're pretty excited about that team championship obviously built on a lot of individual championships a lot of strong individual performances talk about some of the keys for you when you were able to bring that crown home I think the key was really coming together as a complete and total team uh, having uh, scores in all the different areas uh, Brittany Waller uh, the young sophomore winning the women's weight throw and I think Stormy Kendrick and Jasmine Edgerson going out and, and being first and seconds in two different events and 60 and the 60 hurdles kind of flip-flopping and even scoring over in the 200 so it was it was really, really exciting to see those athletes come through, to see uh, Bridget Owens, some freshmen, uh, step in there and really do well. And Whitney Fountain, a, a little freshman, also scored third in the women's pentathlon. So total team effort all the way around. Kim Ruck continues to be amazing, scoring in the 3K and the 5K on a championship level. So total team effort. We had scores in, in all 17 events, or most of them. And so... To be able to do that is uh, absolutely awesome, and I think that, again, it shows our depth and it shows the kind of uh, job the kids done this year. Uh, women's track program moves up to number nine in the national rankings, and so this really can be used as a springboard for the remainder of the season as you continue to try to bring trophies into the trophy case here at Clemson. No doubt about it. I think it's exciting that you, you, know, you get voted on by your peers in your national rankings, and so it's exciting for us to be ranked as high as number nine, and we're looking to improve on that ranking as we go into the national championship here in a couple of weeks down in College Station. But uh, truly exciting. I think that the kids, uh, uh, they think it's fun to be ranked nine, and, they, and it's a game to them to be ranked higher and higher every week. So. Uh, they they enjoy that, and I think they work hard so that when people see that uh, that tiger paw, they understand that it's Clemson, and we're coming to have a great meet every week. Certainly, we're celebrating. Coach Lawrence Johnson here with us on ClemsonTigers.com. Listen up, Tiger fans! April 8th through the 10th will be this year's Solid Orange Weekend. There are multiple events lined up for several of our Tiger teams, including baseball, men's soccer, men's tennis, and volleyball. The 2011 Solid Orange Weekend will be highlighted by the football team's Orange and White Spring Game, held at Memorial Stadium at 4 p.m. on Saturday, April 9th. The Orange and White Football Game, the Clemson Suns Bowl, the men's tennis matches, men's soccer game, and volleyball matches are all free and open to the public. To purchase tickets for the Clemson versus Maryland Baseball Series or for more information on the Solid Orange Weekend, visit ClemsonTigers.com or call 1-800-CLEMSON. That's 1-800-CLEMSON. Clemson fans, come out and support all your Tiger teams and don't forget to wear your orange.